Hi, it's Adele on Hulkingston Radio 107.4 FM. I'm here at the Queen's House Showcase that's happening opposite Hull Cheese on Paragon Street in town. I'm here to check out Practice in Process, which is on until the 10th of November. Um, great place to be. I'm here with Matt Hopper and Adam John Wilson, two local artists. We're going to find out all about what they're doing and why you need to get along and see it. So let's introduce first of all Matt. Um, he's given me a little intro into what he does. I think he's trying to get me tongue-tied, but we'll give it a go. Psychogeographic wanderings around Bricknell Estate. Come on, Matt, tell us what all that means. Well, it starts... I, I work in lots of different media, um, from painting, drawing to um, film, song, and give a little bit of performance as well. <clears throat> One of them being a, my favourite being a, I drove around a roundabout for a, an hour and recorded it and filmed it, which, which you can see on my website. Um, so yeah, I, I like to wander around this kind of suburban environment and I do little sketches and take photographs and just kind of meditate in, in the in the area and then I uh, come back to my studio and I uh, kind of just think about what I've seen and the people I've talked to and and that's where my drawings and paintings begin um, and it's all based around kind of 1960s social housing so there's a, a bit of um <clears throat> there's kind of some subtle political comment there I suppose like it's that kind of world's disappearing now into the kind of the neoliberal um, Kind of thing that's being pushed now and austerity and things and we're losing all our um our public spaces it's really topical actually at the moment isn't it a really topical thing for you to be using and doing um so what what i saw when i came in is i'd seen your work before actually some um photographs that play with perspective of housing estates i mean i grew up on a housing estate and um but they're kind of bringing new beauty to it yeah yeah there's a yeah there's a lot of there's a kind of a that a romantic feel, like the um, the old romantic painters and illustrators of the uh, Victorian Edwardian period. There's, that's uh, yeah, it's kind of mythologising this this ordinary space and drawing out some of the, the the magic and the hidden kind of spirit that's there that that ain't really obvious in in the bricks and the mortar, but it's suggested in the way the trees kind of curve around the these spaces and. In a, in a, an, older, an older history because it was a medieval farm before. Yeah, it's really amazing and I think your work's really accessible. I know you do lots of stuff. You've got a t-shirt on that you've designed <laughs> as well. Um, what I will so, say is it's the, there's lots to your work but people can um, just go on your website matthopper.com check .net. out dot net sorry so they can go on your website matthopper.net yeah. have a little look at what you're doing and um, find you on social media from there but also you're working on your stuff when people come in and they're welcome every Wednesday Thursday Friday 11 till 4 until the 10th of November just have a chat with you and um, yeah. I think that's great, it's really accessible stuff. I'm going to just um, move over and chat to Adam now. Now, Adam, your <laughs> stuff's completely different. We're looking at something very different. Um, I'll, just, yeah. I'll just say what I'm seeing, and then I know that you will um, let me know a bit more about it. You describe yourself as a process-based fine arts draftsman, yeah. um, and what I'm seeing is some parcel paper, brown parcel paper, laid out with what looks to me like a mixture of intricate, rather beautiful worms or DNA or keys and um, each one's unique and they're rather fascinating and you can kind of get lost in them how would you describe this um, well, I, I call them tools um, but kind of the interesting part about doing this as a residency like both being my work in the space has been uh, deliberately not to tell people what they are ah, okay. I've asked people first what they think okay um, and what I said is that what other people have said is this yeah some it's been pretty common people said worms or, or Implements or tin openers, hmm. um, and, and, and you know, I, I call them tools, but they're kind of they're kind of not tools. They're, they're tool-like forms, but um, a tool is built to do a job, whereas these are kind of uh, imaginary tools, I suppose. Um, I think I'm trying to exercise a little bit of my kind of interest in character design and, and illustration because um, I'm not an illustrator. I'm, I'm a fine artist. Hmm. Uh, illustrator is a different a different animal, really. But I think each one's got it's got a character. Each one's got a a different humour to it, a different set of characteristics to it. Mm. Um, 
and you're working on it while people are here and they can talk to you and look at it and yeah, engage yeah. with you, you're, you're open to that. And you've also got some mm. pictures on the wall that are framed because this is laid out on a table. Yeah. You've got some very, very detailed, beautiful, um, I want to say illustrations. Yeah. Um, I'd, call them, I'd call them, I'd call them, I think they're, I think they're, I call them studio pieces. They're not, they're not illustrations, they don't, they don't illustrate anything. They're just, mm. they're, they're, almost, they're, they're part of my practice, which is process-based. Mm. So I'm interested in drawing and in... Uh, rules and limitations and taking things through through uh, iterations or variations. So take, sure. an, take an idea, simple idea like like a, like pattern or shape or form, and, and explore it and push it and, and see how far you can get. Um, great, but you're open to talking about it. People can ask you about great. it. I've been, yeah, I've been the best part of talking to people. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I think it's a really exciting show. I mean, I mean we deliberately, like you said, my work to Max, and I wanted that. We discussed it's been, it'd been a, a drawing based show, but it'd been a kind of counterpoint show. So. We've both got process heavy work, but mm. Matt's work's very kind of illustrative and depictive and like, like I said, political and kind of, mm. kind of like Matt, Matt's talk, if you talk to Matt, it's fascinating. I think Matt's interested in it, fascinating. Mm. But for me, I'm, I, I, I'm more interested in, in, in making and, and yeah. I'm, uh, my work's more abstract. I, 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 I like that, that, that counterpoint. Um, yeah. There's a lot of similarities in our work, but also a lot of. A lot of difference. What I would say is you're both really friendly, easy to get on with, so people coming in can feel sure that um, oh, yeah. this is a space for everyone. It's an accessible space, um, and and that's great. You know, there's, there's an accessible loo, there's some seats to sit on. It's a yeah. place to be and just enjoy the environment. Um, Ken welcomed me as I came in. He'll be here. He's doing some discreet doodlings. He's pretending he's not an artist in his own right, but he sure is. So when you come in, Ken will be there to greet you and kind of give you a little bit of information if you'd like it, introduce you to Matt and Adam when they're here. It's certainly worth coming and experiencing. We've got till the 10th of November. Just a reminder, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday each week, 11 till 4, family friendly, um, appropriate for all ages and just really lovely. I feel like it's a place I can get lost. Um, Interestingly, Adam's not mentioned, he's also got some buttons um, sort of displayed on a rolled out piece of felt and they're really lovely as well. So if children are coming with you, they're certainly worth having a look at. Really intricate, lovely, colourful designs. So I, I really feel there's something for everyone, so do come down and support Matt and Adam. Just to mention where to check out more on Adam, facebook.com forward slash Adam John Wilson artist. That's John with a H in it, Adam John Wilson artist. And you'll be able to see a little taster of what's happening and more. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, just hope lots of people can come down and yeah, have a chat with us. And I guess I'd like, I'd like to thank um, Creative ENRG, it's uh, their space, uh, me and Matt are both clients of, uh, of, of Jill Hobson at Creative ENRG, they're an um, artist, uh, it's an artist, not art development, it's art, art, arts marketing development, um, okay. yeah. mentoring, uh, they're affiliated with Goodwin, they've been really great, so this is their space. Great, so they're, they're really important they're to say that, yeah, this, yeah. Is, yeah. this is made possible by uh, Creative ENRG, uh, yeah, really yeah like support. part of the Goodwin Centre yeah, community yeah. programme to help artists like me and Adam yeah, become established out there kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it help us with the, we're good at the making side of things, but marketing into the other yeah. side. Yeah, so getting it out there yeah. for yeah. everyone to view and enjoy. Yeah, how to approach galleries, how to, how, to do, how to deal with that the tricky, fiddly stuff. Great. Yeah. So oh. Show it each month and uh, I keep plugging the next show, the next artist, I'm a really, really big fan of the next artist, a friend of mine, Cochlear Holstock, right. that's going to be a great show as well. And that's here. The next, next. show, Claire, So yeah. if people... Um, do come along and find out what's coming up. It's a place where there's other things going to be on next, a yeah. um, place to get familiar with. And it's just really lovely. I mean, it's, it's bright and it's warm and I felt really welcome coming in. So in, encouraging everyone else to hop down to see Practice in Process at Queen's House Showcase opposite Hull Cheese on Paragon Street. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Bye.